All right, man, Torture Talk, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock show, man, 6 o'clock show, man. Thank y'all for being here with me. I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for returning all day, every day. Thank y'all. Everything is good. Everything is good. So look, man, Kendrick Lamar, SZA has came out and said his album is coming soon. It might be coming this Friday. Who knows? But uh, we're going to get into that before I get into that. You know I got to get my spill. This is Tortured Talk. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. The greatest channel, channel, the greatest channel on YouTube. Thank you for joining me and my people over here, my allegiance of uh, followers who will kill for me and I will kill for them. <laughs> All right, man, look. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know what to find. The ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. So if you want to leave a donation, you can, but you don't have to. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal's in the description. Let me know where you're from. They call me the Hidden Gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000, a million by Monday. Yeah, man. So let's get to it, man. If you're new here, we go crazy over here sometimes. Sometimes we don't. But we got some beautiful ladies over here, and they single, and they might be ready to mingle. So, guys, just jump in the comments, but don't harass them. You know what I'm saying? Just shoot your shot, nigga. All right, look, man. Let's get it. Be right back. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's get it, man. Six o'clock. And reading in between the lines to figure out where... Can now, when it comes to what's been going on around Kendrick Lamar right now, more than ever, the rumor mill about his upcoming and highly anticipated album has been going absolutely crazy because beyond vague speculation and reading in between the lines to figure out where Kendrick Lamar and this highly anticipated project are actually headed, we are now at the point where people who are closer and closer to Kendrick are talking about the record and expressing their own excitement for the world to finally see what he has planned as recently. We have been hearing about this album from one of the most reputable, incredible groups we possibly could, as none other than multiple people from Kendrick's former label in Top Dog Entertainment have confirmed that the record is real, and that the very prospect of it can't be more exciting. Now specifically, what first went down from TDE was a post on social media from a newer signee of theirs, Devin Malik, who posted out of nowhere and said mood, cause new K dot album on the way, and now is Devin Malik. Damn. This is this is a cultural shift. I think that Kendrick right now, the floor is yours, bro. The floor is this guy's. I'm telling you right now, this album is gonna be super classic. It's gonna be super classic. Mark my words. If we're talking, if we're talking the last couple of projects that this man has done. Everything he's done is like chef's kiss. This album's going to be classic. I would probably say this may be his greatest album ever. This may be his greatest album ever. Because now he knows exactly where to go with it. This is going to be crazy is a part of the TDE family and was even seen in the studio with Kendrick Lamar earlier in 2024. It's safe to say that Devin has been around the circles where this album is being talked about and maybe even worked on as considering how key of a creative role Malik played on their other TDE and Black Hippie members projects like on Schoolboy Q's Blue Lips, which he was featured on multiple times. Malik is not just a part of the TDE lineage, but he is directly intertwined with the people on the label's roster who are tied closer to Kendrick Lamar than almost any other person in the entire music industry. And now beyond just these comments, which have seemingly given us the most definitive proof that a new Kendrick project is on the verge of dropping sooner than ever, a few days after Malik said this and ramped up the hype for this record, somehow the excitement and buzz was brought up to an even greater level because out of all of the people who could have added to this conversation about new Kendrick Lamar music, none other than the biggest artist on Top Dog Entertainment now that Kendrick is gone decided to add their own input into this situation as SZA decided to reshare Devin Malik's post and have it reach her millions of followers. And while we're talking about followers and how yeah, this is gonna get crazy. Damn. This is what this is why I like TDE as a label. TDE, they support each other a hundred percent. And even though Kendrick is not even on TDE no more, these dudes, man, 
they doing their thing, man. I ain't going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I'll be honest with y'all, man. Cal- Cali, man. Cali, Cali be on some other shit, bro. California, man, be on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they be really on some other shit because they all support each other out there. You know what I'm saying? And I know people talk about the South, but I got to get Cali D props, man. I got to, man. If you from Cali, man, put one in the chat, man. Let me know where you from, man. Having content reach a wider audience. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It helps me out a ton. But now, as SZA shared this post to her millions of followers at this point, which means that the biggest artist on TDE is confirming the fact that this new Kendrick Lamar album is on the way and that she can't wait for the world to hear it, and I'm sure her as well, as no matter how close people are at Kendrick, considering how privately he works, I'm sure maybe if she's heard a song or two, she has not heard the project in full. So with all of this, we do not just have even more proof that Kendrick Lamar will be coming in the near future with what is hands down the most anticipated album out right now, but we may have just found out who the first collaborator on this album is, which very well could be SZA, as with most artists. A lot of their posts on social media set themselves to be cryptic hints to what may be going down in the future, and considering that Kendrick and SZA have not released a song since 2018's All The Stars, and that record has more than proved that they are one of the best rapper and singer combos you can draw up together, as that track is almost a certified diamond hit, which also on an unrelated note disputes the ridiculous narrative. Yeah, that song is fire, I ain't gonna lie. That song is fire. SZA is actually pretty good, man. I like her album, man. I really like her album. The first one, I like a lot. I like her first album a lot, man. Second one was cool. The second one was cool. I think it was. I think she got two albums. I'm not. I'm not sure if I remember if this if she has a second album or a couple of songs I heard, but the first album. Yeah, that Jones fire. I don't even know if she has a second album. Be honest with y'all. I'm just thinking now. Because I can't remember the name. But I do remember the first album. That was the one with all the TVs on the front. I believe that's the first album. That Jones fire. People have tried to say over and over again against Kendrick, saying that he needed to write about Drake to get a massive hit. But now back to what this post means for the actual future. What SZA is doing here may not just be telling us that a collab between her and Kendrick Lamar will be released on his upcoming album, but this also could be referring to the fact that this Kendrick Lamar album is dropping sooner than we could have ever expected, which only time will tell if this is the case. But now when it comes to Kendrick Lamar and the release and mission of dropping this album, as when we look at the state of hip hop ever since the beef between him and Drake reached its peak, in this very moment in time because J. Cole decided to squash any potential issues he had with Drake and welcome him right back into the space he has been destroying and diluting. And Drake is also getting ready to release more music in terms of both features and an entire Party Next Door collab album. The tides are starting to shift a little, not in terms of who is running and controlling the game because we know Kendrick Lamar is the guy who has the rap world in his palms right now but in terms of the noise and output of what the other members of the once lauded big three are doing. And as a result, they can potentially relayer the playing field and try their best to weaken the impact of whatever show stopping and genre freezing moments Kendrick Lamar pulls off next. And now with something like J. Cole's new song, Port Antonio, where he is revisiting all the beef that went down and is shifting some aspects of where hip hop is at at the moment. As from Cole's forgiveness of Drake to his passive aggressive lyrics that still refer to the idea that he would win a beef against Kendrick Lamar if he actually tried. To- yeah, that nigga bugging. <laughs> he bugging. But I understand exactly what is going on here. I do believe that J. Cole is trying to re realign himself with Drake because he probably ain't really that close with Kendrick. At least he ain't as close as he was with Drake. Well, let's keep it going. Considering the competitor and tactician Kendrick is, I'd imagine that he is still livid at all of the antics that are trying to be pulled off in the rap game as even after Kendrick showed that he is truly a problem and for anyone who decides to mess with him, that he will make you the laughing stock and have the entire genre turned against you if you push things too far. The fact that MCs who remain at the center of the genre are still trying to tip things back in their favor and try to find strange ways to make the impact and the humiliation of what Kendrick Lamar did for their reputation not seem anywhere near as bad, which at the end of the day is coming off more and more like pathetic coping. 
At the end of this haul, it all means that for Kendrick Lamar. Whether moments addressing and diffusing these events are on his upcoming album, or he decides to pause the rollout for this record to address this new looming situation with J. Cole. As we only hear him speak through his music, besides when he was doing voice work in Pharrell Williams' new Lego movie piece by piece, which by the way, check that film out. It is an amazing creative breakthrough, which just... Oh shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, Lego be doing their thing, man. Lego be have everything, man. They got Marvel. They got uh, uh, DC. They got the rappers. Damn, that's crazy. So who is on this, John? We got Kendrick, Lamar, Daft Punk, Jay-Z, Pusha T, Snoop Dogg. Okay, all right. Jay-Z on it, John? Shows off how great Pharrell is as a whole. And the fact that Kendrick Lamar did get into a recording booth and speak about Pharrell in a year where outside of his own music and concerts, he has done absolutely nothing, just speaks volumes about how he feels about the guy and even just how loyal he is to him, which should be no surprise if you see how Kendrick defended Pharrell and stuck up for his legacy on Euphoria. But now going back to this new Kendrick Lamar album, all in all with the timer only ticking and a rap landscape where so many MCs and especially ones that were humiliated in this beef, whether for their own choices or for what others did to them in both Drake and J. Cole are seemingly trying to release more music and try and take back any of the spotlight they lost without actually instigating Kendrick too much. All in all, as rappers like these are trying to make things just an actual competition again without actually being accountable for it as they release more music. Kendrick Lamar is definitely seeing this as we of course all know from what we have seen this year that there is not a greater and more attentive tactician than him and has prepared more and more on how to get back at his opponents in ways that can actually have long lasting consequences and implications. So overall, with these posts confirming that this new Kendrick Lamar album is getting closer and closer to dropping than ever and the current state of hip hop right now having everybody aimed and ready to find a way to try and diffuse this run he is having and just try to make some sort of an impact that could really change the playing field one bit. Kendrick understands what he's up against and as a result, is going to end up giving us more solo music very soon and I don't think the next drop is going to be another cut that is released on social media and is more of a think piece and a track that is designed to challenge views than actually be a full-on commercial hit. And I also think the next time... Yeah, I believe that too. I believe his next, his next song is going to be similar to or somewhat... Uh, somewhat in the vein of of not like us but just a little probably not not as aggressive so let's see we hear kendrick he will be giving us the song that was previewed at the beginning of the not like us music video and now with the way everything is shaping out while everything has been pointing to the fact that this album will be dropping in 2025 around super bowl season who knows, maybe we will see something crazy happen around the holiday season, which considering Kendrick's track record this year would be right in line with what we have already seen. But now no matter where we are headed, all in all, it's safe to say that everything around this Kendrick Lamar album is getting more serious than ever. And when it does drop, I don't think Kendrick's career, I don't think Kendrick, hip hop or music for that matter will ever be the same. So now with all this said, let me know. Yeah, man. So what y'all think, man? What y'all think? Make sure y'all go follow him too. Yeah, so what y'all think, man? Y'all think Kendrick gonna drop this year? You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments, man. What do y'all think? Y'all think Kendrick gonna drop this year? Or do y'all think Kendrick is gonna drop right before the Super Bowl or after the Super Bowl? I personally think he's gonna drop next year in the beginning of next year, probably before the Grammys. Not saying he's gonna perform at the Grammys, but just before the Grammys and then before the Super Bowl and then he's gonna go on his... uh tour because i think he needs these songs to re to circulate and then he's gonna go on the, the stadium tours so that's what i think you know what i'm saying um i also feel like like we, we people want to rush kendrick to put out stuff i just don't think kendrick needs to really rush to put out anything he's never rushed to put out anything he's always been doing this thing and he's always stayed relevant that way so i think that him not rushing i mean that's cool with me i just want some quality music and He's going to deliver. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? He's going to deliver. He's good at that. So, all right, man. Y'all have yourself a good evening, man. See y'all in the morning. Love you guys. I'm out of here. Let me go get me something to eat, man. You know, time to go eat.